So I come back to the next. In the previous chapter, we have learned about the properties of atoms and structure of atoms. Now let us start the new chapter, nuclei. Mainly in this chapter, we are learning about constituents of nucleus and properties of nucleus. Let us start the nuclei with the basic terms. First one is nuclear phase. Nuclear phase. Nuclear physics is the branch of physics which deals about constituents and properties of nucleus. How to deal? The branch of physics which deals about constituents, constituents and properties of nucleus. Properties of nucleus. Let us see what are the constituents here. In an atom, mainly three constituents are there. One is proton, electron, and neutron. See here. Let us take the structure of atom. The structure of atom is of the order 10 raise to minus 10 meter. And inside the atom, the whole mass is supposed to be concentrated at some point. That point we are going to this. In mind, the whole mass is supposed to be concentrated here only. We know that electrons are involved in the nucleus and inside the nucleus. First of all, what are the constituents of atom? Mainly the electron. The electrons are involved in the electron. Electrons. Protons. Protons. And neutrons. And neutrons are constituents of atoms. Then in the nucleus, what are the components or what are the constituents? Inside the nucleus, two components are there or two constituents are there. One is the neutrons and the protons. If electron, proton and neutron are the constituents of atom, then constituents of nucleus are the protons and the neutrons. Right? Then let us see. Next term is nucleon. Nucleon or nucleons. Nucleons. In the nucleus, what components are there? The protons and neutrons. These are the component of the nucleus. Nucleons mean the protons and neutrons together called as a nucleon. Nucleons. What are the nucleons? The protons and neutrons. Protons and neutrons. Protons and neutrons together called as. Together called as nucleons. Nucleons. Right? I mean, the sum of the protons and neutrons we are calling nucleons. Next term is atomic number. Atomic number. So atomic number can be written by the same. Atomic number. See here. Atomic number is the number of protons present inside the nucleus or the number of electrons present in an atom. Actually, in the nucleus, what components are there? The protons and neutrons, these are the components of the nucleus, and the, around the nucleus, electrons are involved like this in circular orbit. Right? What is atomic number? Atomic number, the number of protons present inside the nucleus or number of electrons present in an atom. That we are calling atomic number. Directly, how many protons are present in the nucleus? That we are calling atomic number. 
नेक्स्ट वन इज मास नंबर मास नंबर थ्री पर्सेंट बाई ए मास नंबर मास नंबर इज द नंबर ऑफ प्रोटॉन्स एंड न्यूट्रॉन्स प्रेजेंट इन सर्टेन प्लेस व्हाट इज मास नंबर द नंबर ऑफ प्रोटॉन्स एंड न्यूट्रॉन्स प्रेजेंट इन सर्टेन प्लेस दैट इज कॉल्ड मास नंबर देन ए न्यूक्लियस इज देयर हाउ टू रिप्रेजेंट द न्यूक्लियस जनरली द न्यूक्लियस कैन बी रिप्रेजेंट लाइक दिस लुक एट हियर न्यूक्लियस कैन बी रिप्रेजेंट एज सिंबॉलिक्स इफ ए रिप्रेजेंट द मास नंबर देन जे रिप्रेजेंट द टॉपिक Right? What is the mass number? The mass number it is represented by a. It is number of protons and the neutrons present inside the nucleus. Number of protons and the neutrons. The sum of the protons and neutrons present in the nucleus. That is called the mass number. Then, how to calculate the neutron number? The neutron number can be calculated by this. So, we are going to do n equal to how much? N equal to how much? Is the present what number of neutrons present inside the nucleus? Right thing. Then let us see the one more basic term here. Isotopes. Isotopes. Name indicates. Isotopes say tops mean atomic number. The isotopes. The nuclei. Which has same atomic number but different mass number. What is the atomic number? The nuclei which having same atomic number but different mass number. That we are calling isotopes. For example, so isotopes of nuclei like hydrogen. You can take hydrogen and isotopes. For example, like this. For this isotopes, one, two, three represent the mass number, and one, one represent the atomic number. What about this? This we are calling isotope. I mean, the nuclei the same atomic number but different mass number. That we are calling isotopes. Next one is isobars. Isobars. Right. Iso means same. Bar means mass number. Iso bars mean the nuclei which are same mass number but different atomic number. I mean, in a nucleus, if same number of protons and neutrons are present but different number of electrons are present, that we are calling iso bars here directly. For example, like what I said, what is the iso bar? The nuclei the same mass number but different atomic number. That we are calling isotope. For example, let's take it. See here again, isotope of hydrogen and helium. Shall I take like this? What is the isotopes of hydrogen and helium? Hydrogen and helium. These nuclei having same mass number but different atomic numbers. Same mass number but different atomic numbers. What are calling this isobars? Then next one we will see isotopes. Isotopes. Isotopes mean the nuclei which has different atomic number, different mass number, but at the same number of neutrons. Like isotopes, the nuclei which having different different atomic number, different mass number, but same number of neutrons. Those we are calling isotopes. For example, I can take. See here. This is one isotope of hydrogen. Right. This is one isotope of helium. Isotope of helium. These nuclei have this different different mass number, different different atomic numbers. But what about neutrons? How to calculate neutron? From this formula, we calculate the number of neutrons in the nucleus. That is a minus i. This represents mass number, and this represents atomic numbers. See here, in this formula, what are the number of neutrons here? N equal to a minus i. 
how many bits? Two. Here also how many? How many electrons are there? Four minus two. That is two. Right? These two we have the different different mass number, atomic number, but they have the same number of neutrons. Those we are calling isotopes. The next one is next basic term is atomic mass unit. Atomic mass unit that you can be present by A M U A M U A M U atomic mass unit. Students. Already we know that the size of the atom is very very small. What is the size of the atom? The size of the atom is of the order ten to the minus ten meter. Right? Then what is the size of the nucleus? Size of the nucleus is of the order ten to the minus fifteen meter. We know that the mass of the atom is very very smaller as compared to kilogram. Mass of the atom is very very smaller as compared to kilogram. That's why the mass of the atom can be represented in terms of the atomic mass unit. Then what is atomic mass unit? How to represent and how to define? Atomic mass unit is the one twelfth of mass of one atom of carbon molecule. What it is? The one twelfth of Mass of one atom of carbon carbon isotope directly the mass of one atom of carbon isotope divided by twelve that represents atomic mass unit. What I say? Atomic mass unit is the one twelfth of one twelfth of mass of mass of one atom one atom of carbon isotope directly. The mass of one atom of carbon is also called divided by twelve. That is called the atomic mass unit. What it is? The one twelfth of mass of one atom of carbon is also called that is called the atomic mass unit. Then see here, we need to relation between atomic mass unit and kilogram. I mean, what is the relation between this atomic mass unit and kilogram? That we have to study. What we know that? One atomic mass unit to mass of one atom of carbon isotope divided by two. Right now, first of all, what is the mass of one atom of carbon isotope? How to write? Look at here. Mass of one atom of carbon isotope that can be given. Mass number divided by our carbon number. Mass number divided by our carbon number. What is a mass number of carbon isotope? See here. And what is our carbon number? Six point zero two three into ten to the power twenty three. First of all, by using this formula, then we can calculate the AMU and we can make the relation between AMU and kilogram. See here. AMU can be written. Mass of one atom of carbon twelve is equal to this side. How much it is? Eight divided by twelve into how much? That is an into ten. Return. AMU what how much? Eight equal to how much? A equal to carbon twelve is equal to mass number is twelve. Twelve divided by how much? Twelve into ten into k. Right? Twelve twelve get cancelled. What you get now? See so what you get? One amu equal to how much it is? N a six point zero two three ten to twenty three. Put this value here. One divided by six point zero two three into ten to the twenty three gram inch. Because this is equal to terms of gram. We are using all these things. What do we get? This equal to one point six seven into ten to the minus twenty four gram. One point six seven into ten to the minus twenty four gram. Gram can be converted to kg. One gram equal to how much kg? One gram equal to ten to the minus three kg. Then put this value here. Then one amu equal to one point six seven into ten to the minus twenty seven kg. What it is? Relation between amu and kilogram. That is one atomic mass unit equal. 
equal to 1.67 into 10 plus to minus 27 kg. Then what is this value? This value equal to mass of a nucleon. What is the nucleon? The sum of the protons and neutrons present inside the nucleus. Or I mean the protons and neutrons together called as nucleons. Right on. What is 1 atomic mass mean? 1 atomic mass will equal to 1.67 into 10 minus 27 kg. Then again we need one more relation. That is what is the relation between AMU and electron group? That we have to see. What it is relation between AMU and kilogram? 1 AM equal to 1.67 into 10 minus 2 minus 27 kg. Now let us see. Let us see what is the relation between AMU and electron group. Relation between AMU and electron group. That we have to see. Relation between AMU and 